Welcome everyone to It's Vinyly Mine's Vinyl Countdown, the final vinyl countdown for 2022. I hope you've enjoyed this marathon of vinyl reviews and found at least one of them interesting. And I think you'll find today's interesting for sure, especially if you're familiar with the score. Yes, folks, a little bit of a story time. Uh, I was at my uh, normal trip to Eroding Winds Record Shop, which is now both, there's two locations, one in Oshkosh and one in Appleton. They're both run by a very talented individual, Adam, and uh, I love going there. In fact, uh, that's what I do. I, I save up and then I go to the record store when I go to the uh, Oshkosh, uh, the uh, Sawdust City Fright Fest in Oshkosh. Uh, I always stop by there and, and get something. And so uh, I was there uh, on my yearly period pilgrimage so to speak and I was just about to leave when this one caught my eye in the corner and while I may have spent a little more than I wanted to I am happy to present to you and I waited to unwrap it for the show the uh, total recall 30th anniversary special edition vinyl release <laughs> i'm so excited to finally crack the plastic on this i know i should have did sooner but i wanted to save it and look at it for the first time with all of you uh yeah, this was jerry goldsmith he considers this one of his best scores this was released on quartet records qrlp uh one seven and uh yeah i'm very excited there was only a thousand units of these uh produced apparently and so i i, I feel very fortunate i was able to find this vinyl and that's what you get at eroding winds I, I it's always fun going to a record shop and finding stuff you either didn't plan on finding or stuff you didn't even realize was out there but then you realize you want it and so we're gonna drop the needle now enough of me gushing and take a look at this special release of the total recall soundtrack now, I've enjoyed this soundtrack for many years. Wore out the tape. I was going to try to find the cassette tape. I just couldn't find it offhand, so I apologize for that, uh, for a bit of a comparison. But I've only, I, I've had to listen to just a limited amount of tracks that are on the cassette and on the CD. So uh, I'm very interested to see if what extra music they have that they span across three discs. So uh, let's get Backblade going here and crack this plastic carefully on this release and oh boy oh boy i'm i'm digging this cover already folks digging this already it is a three disc set so it is a rather thick one it is uh tri-folded so there we go total recall love the logo that they have up here uh similar to the movie poster that we have the pyramid here because it's on mars right uh, original motion picture soundtrack 30th anniversary edition at top yeah the pyramid in that against the space guy and then music composed by jerry goldsmith just love this i love this cover quite a bit uh very excited and, and enjoy the movie quite a bit as ridiculous as parts of it are still enjoy it and as far as the spine look at that i told you it was thick folks i told you but that stands right out really well solid spine there for you and then on the back oh man look at his track listing we have here folks this is what makes this special edition so here uh on disc three we'll jump ahead uh it has the 90s soundtrack album those are the tracks that i'm used to listening to but we've got two full records of uh, uh film score here that i don't think i've ever heard the disc one here the film score part one and two they had to div divide it into two parts it's great uh look at these tricks some of these a lot of these are just short sound uh you know bites sound clips or whatever they aren't really long tracks if you remember the film but there's a lot of action going on as well and uh other quiet bits but still there's still a lot of music here that we've got and then part two the film score even more wonderful tracks in here um with this jerry goldsmith score uh yeah i i really dug this uh he's hit or miss with me but this score i think he really nailed it and then we have who uh put it together uh, the liner notes on here as well and then the credits for the film and quartet uh logo at the bottom so let's unfold the first fold and see what we got going on oh oh uh, I'm picturing a very uh, long uh, uh, picture here, but first, how would you know if someone stole your mind? 
Uh, here's Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is more reminiscent of what was on the movie poster with his face superimposed on there. So we have that image. And then, ah, it's Maz. Look at this. Wow. What a piece of art right there. That crossed three discs. It's uh, sorry, my table's not big enough to show the whole thing, but just wow, folks. And we have the vinyl in here, so let's let's get out our one vinyl. Oh, and the liner notes. So before we get to the that, let's get to the... Oh, check that booklet out. That's amazing. I love it. Look at that. We got Sharon Stone in here. Oh, look, that kind of matches up with the artwork. Uh, didn't even plan that way. With whole uh sharon stone just uh you know the whole cast there uh you got the mutants on here as well just i, lo I love that picture that's a gorgeous picture and then inside wow look at these liner notes they aren't kidding about special edition not only do we have a jeff bond here giving a uh, page in a, a paragraph a column of description then we've got these wonderful liner notes here describing each track from the soundtrack score. I love it. Wow, definitely something to read while I'm listening for sure. And this this right here, this, sorry, this picture right here is just amazing. All right, so let's take a look at the vinyl. The vinyl, we've got the picture similar to here. And yeah, it is, this is the 90s soundtrack album. So it is 180 grams. Uh, yeah, it's got the movie poster image on it on both sides with our track listing and times as well, which it's interesting how many records don't actually have the times. They just have the track listing on it. So here we have both in a wonderful sleeve. I like the sleeve quite a bit. So we'll put that back. And I'm imagining the other discs are the same, but let's check that out. Oh, they aren't. Nice. So that's going to be part two. And so, oh, each record has its own art. So side part one of the film score has uh, the artwork of the dream machine, if you will, the one that uh, takes you on the journey on whether or not it's reality or a dream. Um, yeah. And I loved that logo and I love that they put different art on each disc. That is very cool that they went all out for that as well. So we've got that and then this has the same image that's on the cover of the vinyl. So yeah, lots of music here to listen to these soundtracks, uh, ex, you know, tracks. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to listen to this. So we will take a short break here, uh, listen to this entire soundtrack. And then when we get back, I'll let you know how it is and what's my favorite tunes on it. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, you looking for even more content as well as want to have a say in what we review here on It's Finally Mine? Then head on over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash specialmarkproductions, where you can join one of our three tiers and get access to exclusive content, VIP episodes, and more. Plus take a monthly poll to decide what we review here on It's Finally Mine. Join one of our three very affordable tiers and have your voice heard. We look forward to seeing you there so we can do more here. Okay, we are back, everyone. Uh, wow. Uh, this Now, this track listing is the same that was released on the 25th anniversary CD put out also by Quartet Records. But this is the first time that you could hear the quality of uh, the music from the original tapes. Uh, for audio files, I think it's like 16-bit, 48 uh, megahertz or something. Uh, not megahertz, uh, but hurts um so it's just as it was on the tapes because there's always a little bit of loss or a different variation in the sound when you transfer it to cd but here you get that organic sound and boy is it like it's just it's taking me back to the movie but at the same time this full soundtrack just had me in a dream state let me tell you uh a track uh 
three here secret agent is a fun track uh yeah just i love the sound of it that the the instrumentation that you have in here i mean you have it all this is similar to what we were looking at daft punk where you had the orchestra and electronics worked in so jerry goldsmith did here a very complex score and the liner notes that they include with this are amazing they give you a history not only of the soundtrack but of the film and just hearing what went into trying to get this movie to the big screen is uh crazy a new face a new face is is so much fun very action packed uh yeah i i i dug that quite a bit in here so did um so was uh where is it the big jump uh that one is also an entertaining track and, and the reactor the hologram uh end of dream uh, that whole side d here is just it's just wonderful for sure uh great sounding uh action they're great mix of like little stinger notes in here where he plays a little bit and has a little bit of fun like with the johnny cab track uh but then he also brings in that nice uh just bring in bring out the whole orchestra and just uh, this very grandiose tracks as well but there's a lot of subdued tracks in here as well kind of giving it that dreaming feel on um, whether or not he's in reality or not uh mr quaid so yeah and then as far as the 90s soundtrack go it sounds beautiful uh probably the best i've heard it uh most of the tracks here that were released on the original soundtrack were alternate cues or slight different edits uh on this side side f the majority of the tracks are the same as they were in the original uh score so these these tracks a lot of them some of the tracks with the same name they're they're very similar but at the same time uh yeah uh, uh, many on the side e have been altered so there you have it there's my ramblings folks i apologize uh but i'm just very excited this whole soundtrack is wonderful if you are a fan of jerry goldsmith a fan of total recall and can get your hands on a copy of this i suggest you do so not only does it just sound wonderful no hiss no pops no skips nothing you get to hear that wonderful blend of orchestra and synth uh but it's just a, a great release in general i love the look of the vinyl sleeve the liner notes and everything about it so Thank you so much. Hope you all have a happy new year, folks. Stay safe, have fun. And yeah, here's looking to 2023 and we got a whole lot of stuff coming. So check out our Patreon in case you're interested there. Like and subscribe here. It has meant a lot to me that any of you have stopped by our little sliver of the net internet to watch this. And I thank you. And until next time, remember, it's not yours, it's vinyl mine. And I'll catch you on the flip side.